Hello everyone, Mike Hoffman here with another video exclusive for Tip Squirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all kinds of Photoshop and Lightroom goodness, follow at Tip Squirrel on Twitter or Facebook.com slash Tip Squirrel. Today we're going to explore video editing within Photoshop. Starting with version CS6, Adobe really increased the capabilities for video editing right within Photoshop. The project we'll start today will stretch for two or three parts because there's just so much that we can cover. In today's example, we're going to take an existing video clip, place it inside of some text, and even animate the text. You'll see that we can not only move the text around on the screen and play back the animation, but the video will be playing within the boundaries of the text. Let's get started. We're going to start with a background and a text layer. And I've got some ordinary text here with the word extreme. And what I've done is I've scaled that up and I've got that on a separate layer and I've scaled it up to about 1200 points in my case. The reason why we have this text so large is that we're going to animate this text and we're going to move it across the screen like so. And as we play our animation, we'll have this motion be nice and smooth. So that's the reason for the large text and we want it to occupy most of the screen. And we want our video clip to sit within the text. Let's see how we do that. We'll start by grabbing a video clip that I've got on my desk and we're going to place it by choosing File and then place and we'll browse to where I've got this video clip and what I've got here is a small video I took it on my iPhone and it's a video of an amusement park ride and we're going to place that and when we use file place it places as a smart object within Photoshop we'll click on the check mark right here to accept the position which is right dead center in the document and now we have our video now right away the next thing we can do is create a clipping mask and we'll take the text that we've got on the layer just below and we'll clip this video so that it fits only within the text and the way that we do that very easily is by hovering our cursor right over the line in between these two layers and then holding down the option key on a Mac or the alt key on Windows and clicking and you can see the cursor changes and when we click, you see that the thumbnail is indented with a small arrow, and now the video is located within the text. Now the next thing we'll do is we'll set up our timeline. So we'll come down here to the bottom of the screen, and we can click on the timeline tab, and you'll see it's blank, but we can create video timeline. And when we do, we've got our layers here and I'm going to stretch this up a little bit higher so you can see what's going on. We've got the video clip that extends out for just over 10 seconds and then we've got our text and it doesn't quite go that far but we can simply hover our cursor right here and you can see it change and then when we click here we can stretch this out and make it just as long as the video clip. So now we have our text and our video clip that occupy the same amount of space on our timeline. If we render this, we can click the play button and it will take a few seconds to step through, but you can see that the video will play inside of the text. Now overall that's not very exciting and we also have the soundtrack and we'll want to remove that and replace it in a future video with our own soundtrack. Now ordinarily in order to mute the sound we would come to this little arrow right here and click and we would choose the audio but since we place this video as a smart object we've got to go inside of the smart object to mute the sound. So let's dismiss that dialog and we'll go up here to our smart object in the layers panel and we'll double click it and when we double click it as with any smart object it opens up in a new document 
and we'll use the embedded profile. And now we've got our video clip, the actual clip itself, here in a video group within this smart object. And you can see here I'm in a separate document. Now if we click the little flyout arrow at the right hand side of the video clip, we can see that we've got our video and our audio settings. And by clicking on audio, we can tick this option right here to mute audio. Now we simply have to choose file and save. And then we can close this document and go back. And now if we play, it will play without the sound. Now this may take a few minutes to render, mine did, but once it does, you can play it back at full speed. Now at this point, we've got our video clip playing within the confines of the text layer as a clipping group. But now we want to animate that text and move it across the screen as we talked about at the beginning of this video. How do we do that? Well, the thing that we're going to want to do is to interact with the timeline here. So we'll choose the extreme text layer and we'll click this arrow here to twirl it down and open up the different options for the text. And what we'll want to do is send our playhead back to the beginning. So it's right here at the beginning of the timeline. And then we'll click on the stopwatch here under transform, which will set us a keyframe right at the beginning. Then we'll want to scrub the playhead all the way to the end of the timeline, like so, and we'll create a second keyframe by clicking this diamond-shaped icon right here. And you can see that the keyframe is created. That keyframe will lock down the position, or the transform in this case, of this layer at each of those positions. So at the very beginning of the timeline, we're locked in where we are, we go to the end of the timeline and we can get there quickly by clicking this arrow to take us to the next keyframe. And now we're going to move the text layer. And I've got the move tool selected and I'm going to use the shift key to constrain it to a horizontal move. And I'm just going to drag the text all the way over until the end of the word appears on screen. Once we've got it there, now it's locked in position with this keyframe. And again, at the beginning of the timeline, we're at the original position and Photoshop's video editing will take care of everything in between. So once again, we can click the playhead to let it render. Again, that rendering may take just a few minutes, but once it does, you'll be able to play it again at full speed and see the effect. And there we have animated text with a video playing inside of the text. Now that's it for this week's project, but join me again next week and we'll continue working on this and we'll add even more animation and more crazy video effects to this same project. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of photography and Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials and related information there. Or you can follow me at mhoffman2001 on Twitter, and you can find me on Google Plus by simply going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.